Evernote has had this useful but sometimes awkward feature that when you begin a new note, if you started to type in the body of the note, it would actually use the first few words of that note for the note's title. But you actually can change the way notes are named. I'm Dave Edwards. Naming a note is extremely important. It'll help you file a note and then find it again. Well, you now can control how a note begins, and in fact, you can set the default for the title. Today, I want to show you a setting inside the app that allows you to decide if you should start your note with a title or with the body of the note. So some people like to begin with the title. Others like me like to start with the body of a note, and then depending on the note's final content, it'll determine its title. But it's your choice. So here's what I want you to do. Go to settings, then notes, then start note with title. You'll see a drop down menu. You want to click on title. Now, when you open a note, it's going to go directly to the title field and you can type in a note. Now, you can still go back and change it. I think it's important to come up with a naming system and stick with it. Let me show you why. Now, I prefer to start with the body of the note. So, of course, what I want to do is on that uh, drop down menu, I want to click on the body of the note. Now, you always can go back and change the title. And I think it's important to come up with a naming system and stick with it when you're working with an Evernote or, quite frankly, in any other filing system. Let me show you why. Even though Evernote has a powerful search function, a logical title will make a note jump out at you as you search your system. So let's say you meet regularly with your boss. My suggestion is you title the note with a date in this format, year, space, month, and date. That would be followed by either the name of your boss or the topic, depending on what's most important of, about that meeting and that note. A one-on-one -on -one meeting with your boss, for example, well, after that title sequence, you might just want to use his name. A group meeting on budget planning where your boss may or may not be present, well, in that case, you might skip his name because his presence is not the main reason for the meeting. In that case, I would use the date and then the theme or the topic of the meeting. You can do the same, by the way, with receipts. If you keep your receipts in Evernote, which is a great feature at tax time, uh, you can scan in a note and then you can label that note with the date and then the name of the product. Being consistent will improve your Evernote system. Use the note naming system as a way of accomplishing that. What's your system for naming notes in Evernote? Post your ideas below. I'd like to see your ideas. Also, please subscribe to my newsletter so you don't miss all the things I write about and the videos that I create. Just go to my website, Dave Edwards Media, and click on Contact. Thanks for joining me today.